Hi students, in this video I'm going to be talking about how Annie and Dominique's article and the Kirkpatrick's level fit into the context of our class. So in our professional careers, Eric and I have worked with a lot of librarians who have been seeking to assess students' racial literacy skills, including our colleagues here at Radford University. One frequent frustration that we've seen, though, has been the mismatch between what the librarians want to learn and what they're going to use to learn it. And I really like Dominique and Annie's article because it emphasized how you need to match the student learning outcome with the appropriate Kirkpatrick level. So, for example, if I wanted to find out if a student had become information literate in their four years here at my university, I'm not going to use a survey asking about their feelings because that when you're asking about a reaction to something, that's more of a level one as opposed to if I want to find if they're information literate, that would be level four, so that would be a mismatch. So just as a review, here's Dominique Turnbow's version of the Kirkpatrick levels and I think she did in the article too a very nice job of explaining how level one and level two are easiest to measure if you are mostly looking at um, one shots at your library and level three and level four you really need to either have your own course or work with the professor who will give you the course material so that you could do that kind of assessment. Um, Barbara Peterson, in a presentation for the Georgia Inf International Conference of Information Literacy, did a really neat study back in 2009, which she did a literature review of articles written between 2002 and 2009, identified ones in, that assessed information literacy, and then saw what level in Kirkpatrick were, was each paper um, looking at. So you can see, not surprisingly, most of the papers that have been published are looking at level one and, and, and or level two um, assessment. Level three and level four is much harder and much more time consuming and Peterson's research backs up that it's just not seen as much and actually this is true within the business literature too. Um, when you look at trainers, they mostly report being able to assess level one and level two because level three and level four, which are kind of the holy grail, are much harder to assess. Rather than using a pyramid, I like this newer look at Kirkpatrick's level where it shows that it has the same breakdown between reaction, learning, behavior, and results, but it shows how they're linked together and I think the pyramid kind of emphasizes one as being better than the other and I think that all four levels have some really good uses and we're going to be talking about that throughout the course and I want you to think about that. Don't think of level four as being the best and level one as being the worst. All of them have their places. What we're going to do next week is focus on how you can assess level one and level two learning, uh, level one reaction, level two learning in uh, library instruction. And so th this is really good if you do want to assess library workshops that happen, the course integrated um, instruction. And so what we're going to do is for um, level one is we'll give you a bunch of data from end of workshop surveys and this will be data that I collected when I was teaching. So this is real student data and then ask you to evaluate it so you can come with some conclusions that would be useful for a program. And then for level two, we'll give you student worksheets that actual worksheets that were completed by students and once again we'll give you some guidelines and have you do the assessment. Um, and then the hope is that first off you'll get a sense of how much time and energy each of these take and also what kind of things you can learn from these two types of data points. And then the following week, we'll concentrate on level three and level four, and we'll be working a lot with rubrics and discussing the pros and cons of assessing level four assessment and that week. And then the final week, of course, we'll be talking about closing the loop. So next, you're going to take a quiz, um, or as I hear it called by someone, a celebration of learning, and that will confirm your comfort level with the Kirkpatrick levels. And then you're going to post the discussion board. So email Eric or I if you have any questions, and we'll see you soon.